So when you're looking for a creator laptop, the biggest question is, is it worth spending more money? I've got four different laptops here. They range from all sorts of different specs to higher end specs. They cost more and less, sometimes CPU higher, sometimes GPU higher, more RAM, less RAM. And I'm gonna show you which one of these laptops is better at different applications and how much better, because you're saying, look, is it worth spending that extra $500? That looks like a 33% you know, price increase, but you might get more than 50% performance increase. As you can see, it might be worth it. Is it worth it on the higher end? Should I upgrade to the GPU or CPU? Well, all these questions will be answered and will help you decide which laptop to get. But not just these laptops. If you wanna choose any laptop there, this will help you choose which specs should you get for your laptop. So let's get started. Looking for a cheap way to license your Windows? Check out WhoKeys through the links in the video description. Make sure to use the code TN20 to get a 30% off. Paste the license to the activation settings and you're all done. This license is for Windows 10, but you can upgrade it to Windows 11 for free. They also offer Microsoft Office 19 license. Use the same code TN20 to get a 30% off. Check out WhoKeys.com in the video description below. It would only be fair to introduce the competitors in here. Firstly, we've got the Asus ZenBook 14X OLED. This is a 14-inch thin and light laptop, a little bit thicker side in terms of the thin and light, but it features the i9 13900H and an RTX 3050 inside there, plus 32 gigs of RAM. This costs roughly around $1,500, and I highly recommend checking out the latest pricing in the description below, making sure that you get the best deal, because most likely by the time you're watching this, it will be even cheaper. The next step up, we have the Asus ZenBook Pro 14 OLED. This has the same CPU, the 13900H, but a much higher power package and better cooling, letting this CPU to run even better. And it also features RTX 4070 laptop GPU and the same 32 gigabytes of RAM. Under the hood looks very, very similar apart from the GPU upgrade. And this roughly costs around $2,000, $2,100. So check the latest pricing in the description below. Next up up is actually this Asus ProArt, which costs about $2,400, but to me feels like the most spec you get for this laptop. It's got an i9-13980 HX CPU, which is a 24 core CPU. In terms of CPU performance, you'll see in a moment, it's absolutely ridiculous. It's better than some of the thread represent anything that Apple provides there, which is ridiculous. And the GPU is the same as on this Asus ZenBook, which is RTX 4070, but a little bit better cooling, better power delivery, so it performs maybe slightly better, you'll find out. The interesting thing is that I have upgraded this to 64 gigabytes because it does have RAM slots that can be upgraded. This one can be upgraded as well, but only one slot can be upgraded, so up to 48 gigabytes, but this is maxed out at 64 gigabytes for me. Again, for the latest pricing, check out the price in the description below. And then the most expensive laptop on this bunch is actually a gaming laptop. Laptop. This is the HP Omen 16, which has the i7-13700HX CPU. It's a 16-core CPU, and it features an RTX 4080 laptop GPU, which is pretty ridiculous. This has 32 gigs of RAM, and both of those RAM slots can be upgraded. In terms of SSD upgrades, these 16 inches both have two slots, and you can upgrade or add the secondary slot. Both of these have a single slot, but you can still upgrade them. So if you need more storage, it's very easy to upgrade the storage on these two. So let's have a look at those benchmarks now. Very important to mention that all of these benchmarks were done with the power cord plugged in and then the best performance mode. Not the full fan speed mode, but the performance mode. Windows power efficiency is the best performance available, so we're not leaving any performance on the table. I didn't test it at full fan speed because that is just ridiculous. You can get perhaps a little bit more performance out there, what you can see here, but I thought this is not feasible to have the fans 100% all the time because that is very, very loud. If you do unplug the laptop, you will lose some performance, but this here is the maximum performance you can get out of these laptops. In Cinebench and all of the other applications, the 14X, the lowest one, is the one that's like our base mark in here. You can see that if you go to the 14 Pro ZenBook, then you'll gain about 7.5% in single core performance and about 54% 
in multi-core performance. The Omen 16 most expensive laptop there is actually slightly slower on the single threaded performance because it's an i7 compared to the i9 in, in this 14 Pro but the multi-core performance is slightly faster because of the more cores and slightly higher power limit but not much compared to the 14 Pro. The Pro Art is absolutely on another level in this CPU benchmark. The single threaded score is 15% faster than the 14X and the multi-core is 153% better. Yes, that's more than double and then half more as good as this 14X OLED, which is absolutely ridiculous. Just to put it in perspective, how ridiculous this multi-core performance is, the M2 Ultra, that you can get on the Apple Mac Pro or Mac Studio maxed out 5,000 plus something dollars. That is slower than this one. The M2 Ultra performs maybe 28,000, 27,000, something around there. As you can see, this Pro Art is still about 10% faster in the multi-core rendering performance. CPU is just crazy. But just the CPU performance isn't everything you'll see that in actual applications. In Geekbench 5, bear in mind this benchmark doesn't check out the threads per core but just core performance on the CPU. The single thread performance is 24% better on the 14 Pro. The Omen 16 is again slower in the single thread and Pro Art is 31% faster in the single score. And the multi-threaded score keeps going up, but the Pro Art isn't that much faster now compared to the Omen 16 or the 14X, just because we're not counting all of the threads of the CPU, but still very, very impressive. Let's move on to Photoshop now. And the 14X OLED performs quite okay, and you can do Photoshop on these. Bear in mind, all of the Asus laptops in here have touchscreen, and if you do use the Asus pen here, you can use it on the screen or on the trackpad, and then, you know, paint in some of these things. So this will be very, very helpful feature to have all of them. And then the 14X, the cheapest of the laptops, actually has the best uh, benefit of these because the screen goes completely flat on the table, meaning that it's very easy to draw on the screen, which doesn't happen on the Pro Art or doesn't happen on the ZenBook Pro, which is an interesting benefit for this cheapest laptop in this bunch. The 14 Pro is about 5% faster in the overall score and the Omen 16 is about 15% faster. The Pro Art is 27.6% faster and the GPU score interestingly is 40% faster. The GPU score interestingly is even faster than the HP Omen which has a 4080. But the filter performance on the Omen 16 is actually quite a bit faster, probably because of the GPU acceleration. In Lightroom Classic, a lot of these Asus laptops actually crashed and it's kind of hard to compare here. And they crashed probably because of the dial. The Pro Art and the ZenBook Pro here have like an Asus dial. One of them is physical, one of them is kind of like a hybrid version of this. And because of that, the benchmark don't quite go together because both of these are like kind of extensions plugins on this. So the scores are what they are on the screen. It's not that they are probably bad for this and I'd expect similar performance what you see in Photoshop but just some of the export scores or when you're using passive scores the better the CPU performance like on this Pro Art you'll probably get better performance there in some of the passive scores because it just has more power to export a lot of those photos. Moving on to video editing and Premiere Pro the 14X here is doing quite poorly just because it doesn't have very good GPU and the four gigabytes of VRAM on the 3050 is kind of struggling on here. And you can see that the 14 Pro here is 327% faster and 345% faster on the standard overall score, which is absolutely crazy amount of performance you get on this 14 Pro. The GPU effects about five to eight times faster, which is absolutely crazy. So if you are doing video editing, then from this 14X to 14 Pro, you're gonna get many, many times the performance, which is crazy. I highly recommend you go check out the Premiere Pro test we did on all of these laptops so you can see which codecs they're good at and how good are they at exporting very complicated timelines because things get a bit more interesting there. Go find it on the channel. Interestingly, the Omen 16 there isn't that much faster than the 14 Pro. You can see slightly faster 
awesome. A few percent here and there, but the 14 Pro in the Premiere Pro actually performs very, very close to this Omen 16, which has a much more powerful GPU and then the same amount of RAM. As you can see, the GPU effects, yes, are better on the Omen 16, but a lot of the other things, they are neck to neck with these two laptops, which just makes this 14 Pro very, very impressive. The Pro app though is the fastest in this, this bunch, as you can see. 514 and 701 in the extended and standard overall scores slightly faster than the omen 16 apart from the gpu score if you look at the gpu effects then the omen is faster in both these instances but if you look at raw or intra frame performance then the pro art with this ridiculously powerful cpu is the best in this bunch i do want to make a little note here again i've mentioned this few times but i think asus made a slight mistake with this pro art laptop Laptop, they should have added also a 4080 version of the laptop to get dual encoders which you can see on this HP Omen are very very beneficial to get super fast exports on the video editing performance and just much more VRAM. I think the Pro version should have had RTX 4080 in there. In After Effects the 14 Pro is again quite a bit faster than the 14X. You can see that the 14X really doesn't do well in video editing applications where you need a bit more GPU power. The 14 Pro is 69, about 70% faster in overall score. The multi-core score is quite a bit faster. The GPU score is over four times faster. The rendering performance is literally double the performance, but some of the tracking performance and RAM preview aren't as much. The tracking is only about 18% faster. The Omen 16 actually crashed in this benchmark and this benchmark is not running there. I don't know why, I've tried lots of different things, but it just crashes. It doesn't mean that After Effects crashes, but just this benchmark crashes. So unfortunately, I can't really show you how good this is. I would suspect it would kind of slot somewhere between the Pro Art and the 14 Pro, but in some things, the Omen would be better just because it has much more powerful GPU. The Pro Art though here is about double the performance as this 14X OLED, what you can see in here. Not double the price, but double the performance. So the Pro Art is actually a better bang for buck than this 14X OLED. Moving on to DaVinci Resolve, and here I wasn't able to do extended overall benchmark on all of those laptops. The Omen 16 crashes on the extended one, but does pass the standard score. And the 14X OLED is not able to do it because it only has four gigs of VRAM. You can only do the extended score when you have more than eight gigabytes of VRAM, VRAM available, which you can see over here. So looking at the standard overall score, the 14 Pro is 60 67 or 68 percent faster which is quite a bit faster gpus effects are 130 percent faster more than double so you'll get a lot more performance on the 14 pro compared to the 14x now the omen 16 there offers extra 30 percent compared to the 14 pro and is about 93 pretty much double the performance what we get from this 14x oled as you can see gpu effects are 2.6 times faster which is again very very crazy powerful and i'd say that the omen 16 is the best laptop here for davinci resolve because it's got the most powerful gpu which davinci resolve loves and the most vram that 12 gigabytes is very helpful for davinci resolve the pro art here is slightly slower than the omen 16 even though having the most powerful gpu the standard overall score is a little bit uh, slower but it's still about 90 percent faster pretty much double the performance than the 14X. If you look at the 4K media score, then the Pro Art is actually faster. And also the Fusion score Pro Art is faster because of the better CPU. So depending what you do, either one of these 16 inch laptops will be a very good option for you. I do wanna mention that all of the Asus laptops have OLED screens, which are much better color space and accuracy and also offers HDR when you've got the laptop plugged in and it's got a 10 bit display compared to the Omen, which doesn't have that, which has higher refresh rate but for creators it's not really worth it but this 120 hertz OLED absolutely amazing to look at let's move on to 3d and look at some of the rendering performance in V-Ray, when we look at a pure CPU performance then you get about 20% increase when moving on to the 14 Pro and then extra 4-5% when we move to Omen 16 and then whoa 
a lot more when we move to ProArt. In V-Ray, the CPU score on ProArt is literally double the performance. Yes, like two times the performance, 98%, um, meaning that whatever you render on this 14X, it does it at half the time on the ProArt, which is crazy and kind of makes the ProArt very good value for your money. When we're looking at CUDA scores and now GPU, then the 14 Pro is four times faster than this 14X. HP Allman is 7.7 times faster than the 14X. So from 3050 to 4080, there's a huge, I mean, it's a night and day performance difference. Absolutely ridiculous. And actually it's quite a bit better compared to the 4070 that we have on the 14 Pro. As you can see, you wouldn't think that the 4070 and 4080 have that much difference, but there is a huge difference. The Pro Art is slightly faster than the 14 Pro because it does have the same GPU, but the power limits are slightly increased and perhaps better cooling helps you to run clock speeds faster. So it's slightly better, but pretty much the same as what we have on the 14 Pro. Moving on to RTX, the 14 Pro is 4.7 or 4.8 times faster than the 14X. Again, ridiculous performance. And then the Omen 16 is 8.4 times faster than the 14X. It's ridiculous. Again, super impressive GPU performance on the Omen 16. The Pro Lite is slightly faster than the 14 Pro, but not necessarily worth the GPU upgrade going from 14 Pro to the Pro Art. So depending what you need in V-Ray, whether CPU or GPU, in terms of GPU, the 14 Pro performs very close to the Pro Art, but in terms of CPU, the Pro Art is the best. And for GPU, the Omen with the 4080 is absolutely crazy, crazy performance. Looking at Blender and now CPU performance, the 14 Pro offers about 48 to 85% increase compared to the 14X. Interestingly, we have exactly the same CPU, but just higher power limits. And look how much of a difference that makes. On the Omen, we're getting 1.5 times the performance compared to the 14X or about two times the performance. But interestingly, when you look at the Pro Art, which actually has more cores and more threads, we're not performing that much different compared to the Holman 16 for some interesting reason. I would have expected the Pro Art to perform even better than the Omen 16 because 24 cores compared to the 16, but because of the 16 cores and maybe more power that it can push through on the gaming laptop compared to the Pro Art, the scores here in Blender aren't that different which kind of doesn't make sense because when we looked at Cinebench where things are really just let loose, we can see that the Pro Art is so much better, but in here, perhaps the benchmark can't utilize all of the cores, which might not be the case in real world usage. But looking at the GPU performance, the 14 Pro is uh, again, a lot better than the 3050 mobile, what we see on the 14X. And then the Pro Art is actually now measurably better compared to the 14 Pro now, even though having the same GPU, but just because better cooling, higher clock speeds, we're getting quite a bit better performance. But the Omen 16 with the 4080 is on another level in terms of GPU performance. Rendering in Blender, Omen is definitely the winner. So then, in conclusion, which laptop should you get? And the answer to that really depends on your workflow, as always. I know this is a boring answer, but do you need CPU performance? Do you need GPU performance? Perhaps that might make the choice for you. But there are a few things, perhaps, that I would say that might help you make this choice. If you want something that's just very, very simple on the go, but still offers quite a good performance to work kind of any photo video editing, then the 14X is a very, very good option. The OLED screen and the way Asus has designed the trackpad interacting with content is absolutely fantastic. If you want the best CPU and GPU overall performance, then the Omen probably is one of the best on the go laptops that you can get because just the 4080 and the CPU performance upgrade the RAM as well to 64 gigabytes and you'll get even more performance and it performs very, very close to the Pro Art in a lot of the ways and probably packs the most power on the go. But the big part in there is it's not as nice interacting with the content. The trackpad isn't as nice and the Pro Art, the keyboard isn't as nice, the screen isn't as nice, the colors aren't as nice. 
you don't have the asus dial which very quickly starts to lean you away from the omen and looking at the pro art especially because the pro art is even cheaper than this omen but if that doesn't matter to you and you're just thinking about plugging the laptop and attaching screens to it and having a separate keyboard and mouse then the omen is very very appealable if you're looking at something that is just made for creators the highest end laptop but yet super affordable compared to some of the other things that you can you know get there then this pro art this is so nice to work with when you get the laptop when you open it up when you start working on the content you realize wow i didn't know how much i enjoy my job just because it's so solid so high quality but yet so affordable in a lot of the ways. The best bang for buck, the Pro Art to me wins it overall because all of the usability features you get, the Pro Art is, is just the best. Perhaps not the best performance um, compared to the uh, Omen. I'd very easily trade some of these trade-offs from Omen to the OLED screen and the Asus dial and all of these things on this Pro Art and the touchscreen. This to me just overrules everything. And now that leaves us with this 14 Pro. This offers very, very close performance to the Asus Pro Art in GPU performance, CPU performance. Yes, CPU performance is a little bit weaker, but the overall performance on a 14 inch form factor, you realize, whoa, that is impressive because even though being about $500 more expensive than the 14X, it offers everything that the 14X offers more than double the performance in a lot of these cases here. To pack 4070 and 14 cores on this laptop and even give you an upgrade ability on the RAM, that's amazing as well. So if you can't get the 16 inch or is too big, then getting the 14 inch here with the ZenBook Pro 14 is a very good option to go for as well. Hopefully this performance overview helps you to decide which laptops to get. You don't have to get these ones here, but I really like these ones here. Go check out some other laptops that have the similar specs. You can expect similar performance as long as they're not thermal throttling much worse than these guys here or have maybe worse thermal design. This helps you to design how good are certain specs in certain applications as a creator. I'll leave all these laptops linked in the description below. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye -bye. Hey, before you go, actually, if you want to build yourself the best bang for buck PC, right? You're saying, look, I don't need a laptop, but I just want the best PC. Then just so you know, if you're a creator, I've got a build guide in the description below, completely free. Check them out. I just want to make something like that to people who are thinking, what part should I get? I don't know. Should I upgrade? Should I downgrade? Do I get performance increase? It's all explained down there. Four videos, pick the one that's closest to your budget, and I'll explain everything in that video. Bye-bye.